Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Sector Realm Builders episode 8 and it is time to make some enemies. Yes, that's right. We need to make enemies and I figured that we could kill two birds with one stone uh, using a very uh, easy and simple method that benefits us massively while also making enemies and that is getting AI cores. So, this episode is going to be a bit of exploration. We're going to hurt, like, search for warning beacon systems to try and find a nice populated remnant place. And then we're going to go ahead and colonize somewhere in that system uh, to create a steady AI core farm. If you do like this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to check me out on Twitch. The description is in the no, the link is in the description below. I was about to say the description is in the link below. <laughs> we also do have channel memberships. Guys, there is absolutely no pressure to become a channel member. It is an option that is there if you want to. Um, there are some, some more personal communication methods with me via that. Um, and also, you know, some, some, some mentions and stuff in videos. But please don't feel like you have to in any way, shape or form. Just know that it's there if you would like to. Um, thank you very much, and let's jump into this video. We have got supplies, we have got fuel. It is time for us to head into the stars. Now, direction-wise, I think we're going to want to head up into these nebulas over here. I'm sure we will probably find something, perhaps around this black hole. I think um, we will almost definitely uh, find something up around that black hole. So I think what we're going to do is head up to Alpha Kaidoimos. Um, and clear out the Kaidoimos Nebula and then head over here and we'll see what we find. So I will uh, I will bring you back when we arrive in Alpha Kaidoimos. Uh, so we're here at Alpha Kaidoimos. We see no warning beacons. Over here at Me Nemo. Wait, I just realized. <laughs> oh no, it's Ma Nemo. <laughs> I thought that system was called Me Nemo for a moment. And I was about to find that very, very funny. So there's nothing over here, unfortunately. We're going to navigate this hyper space field our storm area oh and that storm appeared just as we arrived that's a shame a uh, bit of supply loss there we really can't afford to take too much supply loss off of, off of hitting storms if we want to stay out here for an elongated period of time looks like there are no warning beacons around here at all there goes our money and down the drain after uh, i grabbed a ton of of, uh, of supplies and fuel for this trip. Uh, and so that's where that goes. We are stockpiling luxury goods over on Necromunda, which is wonderful. It means that uh, we are going to be able to uh, pick some up at some point. This is a lovely um, triple uh, trinary star system. I actually think I might want to do some surveys here. I think I might want to do some surveys here in, in, this, uh, in this trinary star system. Uh, there is a mortar station. Indeed. Ah, uh, with drones. Hmm. But, I mean, surely that doesn't mean... I don't think this counts. Unless there's a, unless there's an actual station here, I think, right? Uh, the mortar station doesn't count by default, I don't believe. Uh, for this to be one of the worlds that you can farm AI cores on. I believe it has to be... Um, I believe it has to be one with like a, a full-blown like remnant station on it or something. Uh, and it looks to me... There isn't actually a huge amount here. Other than... What should we call it? Uh, the, the mortar station... I don't think there's anything here, so I don't think this will work as a system. Um, we could try taking on the mortar station. I don't know how confident I am. I wonder what the difficulty gauge is. What was the difficulty gauge? Difficulty gauge for this station it was three stars. Mm, we'll leave it be for now. We'll leave it be. We'll continue our search for warning beacons. We will continue our search for warning beacons. Uh, and over here, no beacon. And then we got one more system over here with no beacon. Oh, it has something over there. What is it? What are you? Oh. A 
cruiser. Torpedo cruiser. With pods in it. Oh, we'll grab some crew. We'll go ahead and salvage this up. And get out of there. Um, this is an interesting episode for me, actually, because um, I haven't really spent much time talking while in hyperspace. Because normally I just uh, I cut the hyperspace travel out for the most part on uh, on the episodes. So this is uh, this is an interesting one. As uh... well, I'm keeping it in. <laughs> I'm keeping it in. Let's see. Looking for warning beacons. There's a tiny little fleet there. Uh, there is a nebula over here. I guess there's a chance that there could be a warning beacon on the nebula. Oh, wow. There's a load of planets in the nebula. Is this a bunch of planets with no star? How fascinating. Planets existing without a star. They're just chilling in the nebula. I wonder how that works, like, from a physics perspective. Like, what keeps the planets in place? Are they... Are they technically even planets? Um, I don't know if I've got any uh, astrophysicists in, <laughs> in my comments. But uh, if they're... If the planets aren't orbiting a star, are they planets? Or are they just really large asteroids? I'm uh, I'm fascinated by that actually. Oh, we do wanna we do wanna come down this way. I'm uh, I'm fascinated by that. Uh, Apocalypse just grew to size four. Oh, fantastic! Apocalypse just grew to size four. Um, so that opens up another industry for us. That opens up another industry for us. Uh, we don't really have the money at the moment though. Um, growth is now down. I think we're going to turn hazard pay off again for a bit. Now that it's hit size 4. Until we've stabilized another industry here. So, Apocalypse is... Um, oh yeah, it's got the plus 3, plus 3, right? Making mining... Yeah, so refining here is going to be very valuable. Uh, but we can't afford it at the moment. We can't afford it by like 3,000 credits. All right, well, we'll just have to wait until payday. Which won't be too long. Won't be too long. Uh, these, no war no warning beacons there. Okay, we'll carry on heading to Sector East. Um, I'm surprised we haven't run into a, a warning beacon yet, honestly. I really thought... Oh! You have received a ceasefire offer from the Reuter Union. Um, interesting. Open the intel screen. Offering a ceasefire to end ongoing hostilities. No. <laughs> no. Come, come get us. Come get us. They've just made peace with Diablo Avionics. Interesting. Lot of stars. Lot of stars over here. Lot of stars over here. No sign of any warning beacons, though. No sign of any warning beacons. We have just been paid, so we are going to come to Apocalypse, set up the refining, get that constructed, uh, and hopefully we'll see a nice increase of credits per month through on Acropolis on Apocalypse once that happens. Um, but unfortunately, we are certainly having some issues finding the warning beacons that we so desired. I'm hoping that we'll find some soon. Fingers crossed. There's a patrolling detachment up here. Why are you patrolling up there? I'm curious. Is there a hidden... Is there like a hidden hidden something here? Maybe. Let's jump in. Huh. There's an independent Reuter base here. 
Wait, where's the independent Reuter base? Com relay, sensor array. Ah, it's over here. There it is. Zeki Citadel. Zeki Citadel. We'll go ahead and uh, pick up some fuel off of you. Thank you very much. And we'll leave you to your... Leave you to your independent roidering. <laughs> leave you to your independent roidering. Uh, okay. Let's head... Let's head to Sector West. And, uh... Hopefully? Track down something. Fingers crossed. We burned through so much fuel, actually. Wait, wait a minute. We are actually in a fuel situation. I didn't even realize, but we're actually genuinely in a fuel situation. Goodness, we actually use so much fuel. Oh, no. How did I not notice we were using 70 fuel a day? Do we not have the skill? Yeah, we do. It doesn't actually help us that much, though. Because our fleet's total is 451. And it maxes out at... Oh, I mean, that doesn't... Reduce fuel consumption by 20, 50% or 25 units. So this actually only just reduces our fuel consumption by 25 units. Um, or... No, 30% of... Yeah, 30% of 83. Yeah, so 25 units. Hmm. I should have brought more fuel. Should have brought more fuel. Slipstream. Yes. The slipstream got us to the right sector. Oh, that's very like. Oh, the dropping in on the star, though, is bad. Um, but we at least got to a place where we can get fuel, even if it's in small amounts. Um, I will. Uh, I'll wait here for a month. And uh, that will hopefully give the station enough time to get enough fuel together for us to be able to uh, maybe head towards the core to buy more. Okay, we have been paid. Grab the last of the fuel here. We got ourselves 955, um, which should hopefully get us to... Oh, yeah, it gets us to the core. Easily, easily done. Easily to the core. Uh, in terms of diplomacy, uh, the Imperium are neutral with us. That's your nigga suspicious. Okay. So let's go ahead and get ourselves over to uh, XV. XV. Oh, Necromunda has an invasion in 54 days. Okay. The Reuter Union. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited for that fight. I'm excited for that fight. Um, <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, we're sliding into the XV system. Just going to make sure that we don't get messed up by any nebula storms here. Oh, we did hit an asteroid, but that's because it's a Timo episode. And it wouldn't be an official Timo episode without an asteroid hit. So there we go. It's now officially an official Timo episode. Uh, let's go here. Oh, you don't even have that much fuel, do you? Goodness. Yikes. Yikesies. This gate doesn't work, unfortunately. Which is a real shame. Uh, so we will have to get back out. Over here. Without hitting any nebula storms. And find another gate to use to get back to... Uh, oh, that asteroid impact. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, in order to get back to home. Now, there's a gate that we haven't activated yet over in Thracia, so let's go ahead and grab that one. Let's go ahead and grab that one. Uh, and get on back to the Niper system, where we can uh, go and prepare to defend Necromunda. Because Necromunda, as far as I'm aware, doesn't... Uh, 
have anything more than an orbital station. So it's definitely going to need help. It's definitely going to need help. So let's head on over there. And we're there leaving us on 190 fuel. 190 fuel. Uh, we're going to head over to Necromunda. Because uh, we've got a load of luxury goods to pick up. Um, that we need to we need to ship off. In our storage. But 1,053 luxury goods. Oh, we also have the corrupted mana forge, of course. I had completely forgotten. I had completely forgotten about the corrupted nano forge. Boom. There we go. On Necromunda, corrupted nano forge. Go. Corrupted nano forge increases ship and weapon production quality by 20%. Increases heavy industry production by one unit. And causes pollution on habitable worlds, but this isn't a habitable world, so we don't need to worry about it at all. Um, awesome. Awesome. So, that... Hmm, I don't see a quality increase. Hmm. Does it take a moment? Does it take a moment to kick in? I see... Spaceport improvements. Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at access, not fleets. Oh, silly me. Silly me. <laughs> Realm Builder's Fleet Doctrine. Well, what about the Orbital Works? Why is the Orbital Works not playing into the quality here? Huh. Thought it would. It's interesting. It's interesting. Still, we have, uh, we have a, a, a thousand luxury goods. Um, that we can sell off for uh, about 170k to the to the Ludic Path or the Sindrian Dictat for about 150k. It's not bad. That is not bad. But we do need to swing by over to the wonderful Eternity. Uh, and uh, we're going to need to pick up a whole lot more fuel. 5,000 fuel. And honestly, like 500 more supplies. This fleet, I feel like this fleet, I feel like running a, like all these gemmers is actually insufficient, inefficient, right? So let's just let's just work this out at the moment. So a gemmer, um, technically, is a combat capable vessel, so we have to bear that in mind, right? But um, cargo capacity of 577, right? Um, and maintenance supplies a month of just under seven. Uh, and a fuel, um, fuel, uh, fuel slash light year um, of 1.4, right? And then if we look at the Atlas, then the Atlas has 2,886. So that is the equivalent of five gemmers, give or take a little bit, right? Give or take a little bit. Um, with a fuel slash light year of 4.19 and a maintenance supplies of 11. Oh, okay. Yeah. So actually, um, running the gemmers is really inefficient as freighters. Now we're at the size of fleet that we're at. Running the gemmers is actually what's causing us to be so expensive in terms of fuel and supplies for that matter. Mm. Might be worth getting rid of some gemmers in favor of uh, some atlases coming up then i think so i think so so that'll be it that'll be a plan for the future that'll be a plan for the future but for now actually real quick just custom production in terms of civilian vessels uh and so in terms of civilian vessels we have the gemma we have the colossus which would be 900 plus whatever amount for fuel. So it's the equivalent of a gemmer, but with more cargo capacity. But the same, oh no, because that, that fuel cost is two. That'd be four. I don't think the Colossus is worth in comparison to the Atlas. Um, and then there's no other civilian ships here that are worth sort of like building from that perspective. Um... Right? Yeah, no. 
That's fine. Okay. 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 Uh, so I'm wondering then, if that's the case, then perhaps the smart idea would actually... The smart idea would actually be to... Uh, maybe go over to UAF space and pick up some UAF freighters. They might actually be the most efficient in terms of fuel cost. Because at the moment, this fleet's fuel cost for flying around is very expensive. Very, very expensive. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sit this out here and defend Necromunda until the invasion comes. Uh, I'll bring you guys back when the Reuter Union fleet arrives. The Reuter Union fleet has arrived. It is being engaged by uh, by a couple of patrols. It looks like we're gonna slide in. Uh, this is a this is a decent. They've got two Argoses, a Wrecker, a couple of ranches, a Gambit. This is a it's a decent sized invasion fleet, which I quite like. I quite like, and we got uh, we've got two Realm Builders patrols here backing us up as well or we're technically backing them up so let's go ahead and join this battle let's continue uh we are just going to deploy uh all we can i think that will be okay yeah that's fine let's go launch everything in in come our vessels i do want to get some of these object 815s I quite like the look of the Object 815 cruisers. They're big as well, really. If you think this is a Kanehurst battleship, the A15 is a cruiser that is honestly, like, except for not being as wide, basically the same size. <laughs> but I think that's partially because the Kanehurst is quite a small battleship. I think the Kanehurst is quite a small battleship in that regard. I believe. I think so. Anyway, let's go. Um, let's get ourselves into this battle. Um, good to see the AI are doing their jobs, securing us the cap points, and here we go, here we go, in we go, there's a big sort of like host of big ships in the center here on our front, where are those Argoses, there they are, there they are, let's get on in there. Let's get into the action. Okay. Weapons kind of in range. Let's fire. Woohoo! Alright, don't don't overstep, don't overstep. But we can keep moving forwards here, actually. We can keep moving forwards here. Let's chase. Let's chase. I'm going to go with the core overclock. Push in. And fire. Big time. Big time fire. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And... Oh, he got his shields up. Ah, we got him. We got him. We got him. All right. Back up. Back up. Back up. That's it. Their Argos is a danger close now. I mean, pummel their shields a little bit here. Or apparently just pummel their hull. Uh, our core overclock is ready. Our flux is nice and low. Let's go ahead and overclock and fire. Really pummel those shields. Pummel that front armor. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. Flux is fine for the moment. Flux is fine. We're backing away again. We're backing away. Backing away. And we're alright. We're okay. Excellent. Dropping shields to let the flux drop. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, raising shields again. Core overclock. Fire. Woohoo! There she goes. There she goes. 
In on the second one. Overwhelm it a bit. Chill out on the fire. Close in. And open fire. Full blast. Core overclock. Let's go. Right in his face. There it goes. Beautiful. That's there. That's their battleships down. Uh, should be a pretty comfy win. Should be a pretty comfy win at this point. I don't know what's left. We're going to kick the autopilot in. We're going to zoom out and we're going to enjoy the show. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning. A roach retreats. This, uh, this whatever this is, is about to die spectacularly. A wrecker gets destroyed. An onager is disabled. Stunning. Looks like they've got a uh, some kind of carrier left. I'm not quite sure. Oh, they, no, they do have some ships over here. Okay. They do have some ships over here. Our Loritanas are engaging. Our Loritanas are engaging. There's a Pommel sending a bit of a bombing run in. Good to see you, Pommel. Like seeing the Pommel do some work. There goes an Onager. I imagine the second Onaga is not long for this world either. Let's see that eliminated. Its hull is starting to drop. It's almost retreated, but I don't think it's going to get out. Oh, nah. <laughs> we got it before it could retreat. Nice. Excellent work, everybody. Excellent work, fleet. Excellent work. Uh, we will go ahead and join the pursuit. We'll order our second in command to just take the Loritanas in on that one excellent and we will uh, in terms of ship recovery there's nothing we really want to recover here no oh no, there isn't we will go ahead and continue we'll pick through the wreckage we will take absolutely everything wonderful and we will salvage get that double dip in uh, we don't want the Tarsus Freighter. No. We just want to salvage up what's left. Ooh, a nice amount of heavy armaments. A very nice amount of heavy armaments. I like to see that. I like to see that. And there we go. The defense was successful. The Royda Union invasion fleet was eliminated. And uh, we... We did... We did pretty well for ourselves. We did pretty well for ourselves. We sure did. Go ahead and drop all this off at the moment. Uh, lovely. Lovely. We'll drop that off as well. And we will pick up. Uh, no, we won't pick up. We will go to special functions. Prisoner actions. We will collect ransom on that high value target. Or on that prisoner. Wunderbar. Uh, we will go ahead. And uh, Iskra Europa is an officer for, available for hire. Hello, Iskra Europa. What can you do? Ballistic mastery. And is steady. Yeah, we'll hire you. Sure. Sounds great. Welcome to the fleet, Iskra Europa. And you can pilot... Canehurst. Actually, no. Zosma should pilot, pilot the Canehurst, really. Uh, Iskra, you can, you can pilot the mother. You can pilot the mother. Uh, and Bert has a level up. Bert has a level up. And mm, on the Lazarus. Mm, I think target analysis. Target analysis is a great skill, in my opinion. Target analysis is a great, great, great skill. And I don't mind I don't mind his elite being damage control. It's not like optimal, but it's also fine. It's also fine. Uh okay. Wonderful. Well, welcome, Iskra. Welcome to the fleet. Uh let's see here. What is the plan now? We have 577,000 credits. We still haven't found a warning beacon. We still haven't found a warning beacon, unfortunately. Uh, and that is a shame. 
That is a shame. But we do have we do have some credits. Uh, and a oh, refining is now up at Apocalypse, which is huge. The income the 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 income has gone up. What what if, if we go hazard pay now? Down to negative twenty on hazard pay, which is 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 certainly improved. Um, if we go ahead and I think actually we want to we want a story point refining. We want a story point refining. But right now, which then further increases. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, are we not able to export enough? Are we having export problems? Because we've just increased the amount that we can refine. And, uh... It doesn't look like... That increased our profit at all. Is it an accessibility issue? Maybe it's an accessibility issue. Uh, so we should probably go ahead and upgrade this to a mega port. It's probably the smart play. Honestly, what we need is the AI cores. The AI cores is going to be the huge thing for us. Um, which is why I was looking for uh, the uh, warning beacons. There's no way. There's no way one of these was a warning beacon, right? Because if we've been there, then we would have noticed it would be on our warning beacons um, on the intel, right? So we have warning beacons here. And there isn't one up there. There is a... There is a warning beacon here, but it's just a... Um, uh, it's a low danger one. It's a low danger one, so it's not really worth because we want at least medium or even high. Uh, from what I've been told, anyway, uh, we want a medium or a high. So, yeah. I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and drop off some ships at Eternity here. We're going to go to uh, here. We're going to go to our fleet. We're going to go leave some gemmers. Uh, we're going to go ahead and store some gemmers. And we're, we're then also going to have to leave some fuel. But that's okay. And that should... Um... That should bring our... Fuel down to seven to 46 from... From uh, 70. It brings us down to 46 from 70. Yeah. Uh, is there some fighting going on up here? What's going on? What's going on? Monthly income? Uh, yeah, we, we drew from stockpiles, which is why it was low this month. Uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and gate over to... I feel like this is Blade Breaker space, right? There's warning beacons down here, but, because of, but that's because of Blade Breakers more than because of... Domain... Or Remnants. We haven't explored here. Maybe there's a warning beacon there. It'd be nice if there was. I guess we can go check. And go check. And see. You know, you never know. You never know. And maybe we can also check for Vonius for a freighter. I don't know. I don't, I don't know whether the, the UAF freighters are available open market. Because I'm trying to remember my waifu's playthrough. But that doesn't really help. Because obviously, in the waifu's playthrough... Um, Oh, we, we were commissioned, right? Because we had access to all the markets. Um, so, okay, the, Susu the Susumus are available. So, uh, that might mean the Juliets are available. That might mean the Juliets are available. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, the woes are fantastic as well. The woes are quite fantastic. Hmm. But nothing here for us right now. 
Nothing here for us right now. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Get out of here. I'm walking here. I'm sorry. I won't ever try and do it. <laughs> Brooklyn accent ever again. Is that Brooklyn accent? I think it's a Brooklyn accent, right? But I'm walking here. I think that's I think that's Brooklyn. Um, I'm sorry, I'm British. I uh, don't know the nuance of of the the Greater Manhattan area. <laughs> Before anybody gets offended. <laughs> um, okay. Warning beacons, warning beacons. Any warning beacons for little old Timbo? Little old Timbo looking for a warning beacon. Not finding a warning beacon. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh! Hello. Hello. Perfect. I think one of the things the Kanehurst is sixty deployment points, by the way. 60 deployment points for the Kanehurst. It feels very... The MVS ships feel very expensive for their power level. And I think maybe that might, might partially just be because I've been used to playing waifus. And so, like, waifus sort of, like, you know, you're like... Some of their battleships are 45 and some of them are 50. And their, they're, you know, their carriers are, like, in the 20s. Uh, or their cruisers are in the 20s. And I'm here with, like, the Lazarus being 30 and the Kanehurst being 60. And I'm wondering whether, like, maybe that's... Like, is that waifus being imbalanced, or is that MVS, like, uh, is that the MVS author trying to make the, their ships a bit more expensive because they don't want anybody to complain about balance or something? I'm not entirely sure. But uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, drop the Kanehursts in. Probably not the Lazarus, honestly. Probably drop the Mother in and... Um, and... Five Loritanas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and if it looks like it's going bad, we can, of course, um, call in some more reinforcements. But uh, hopefully, we can hook ourselves up with some uh, alpha AI cores. But honestly, at this point in time, any AI core is fine. Any AI core is fine for the time being. Overclock is active. Guns are firing. Our flux is okay. Those two Kanehursts firing on a ship, they, uh, they can do a lot of work very quickly. They can do a lot of work very quickly. Core overclock is ready to go again. Let's just close in a little bit. And let's go. Core overclock. Mess up a ship real fast. Mess up a ship real fast. Lovely. That's the brilliance down. Those are the major threats. Those are the major threats. Let's head on. Lumen down. Let's go ahead and core overclock just to close in. See if we can get some last hits on this. Got a lot of missiles going out. A lot of missiles going out. And oh, it's Harley's, it's Harley's dropping. There it goes. The scintilla goes down. Now we've just got a couple of smaller ships. A couple of smaller ships. Oh, that Fulgen went down very quickly. And then one last Fulgen. One last Fulgen. 
And... Kaboom. Oh, I was a scintilla, sorry, not a full moon. My bad. My apologies for getting that incorrect. Lovely. We'll go ahead and pick through the wreckage. Oh, no I.I. cores at all. Oh, getting punished. Getting punished. Straight into the second combat. Um, straight into the second combat here. Let's not bring the gemmers in. Should we not need to? Caution sub auto? Wait, what am I? What is this? What does this caution sub auto mean? What? I've never seen that before in my life. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> I've never seen it before. What am I supposed to be cautious of? Sub auto. Like, ordinance? Sub ordinance? I am. Um, I'm confused. But it's fine. We are we are heading into this combat. We're getting ready to engage. We're, we're very split at the moment. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Not necessarily a bad thing. And the shield's up. We are being flanked here. Oh, and we are losing. We are losing flux. Have to drop shields. Get away from me. Get away from me. Let's vent. Lovely. Shields up. Okay. Let's try this a second time, shall we? Kanehurst, don't get in our way, please. Thank you. Here we go. Core overclock going in and fire. Fire, 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 fire. Lovely. Lovely. That's it. Keep pressure up on its shields. Keep pressure up on the brilliant shields there. Give our other ships chance to close in. Our flux needs venting. We're going to hit that vent real quick. Hit that vent real quick. Lovely. And then we're going to shield up. We're going to core overclock. And fire. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Unfortunately, this bit of wreckage here just absorbed a lot of our shots. But we still, we still put on the pressure. We still put on the pressure. Lovely. Lovely. Gorgeous. That's it. I really do like the Loritanas. The Loritanas are really nice ships. I'm a big fan of the Loritanas. Big fan of the Loritanas. We'll go ahead and hit autopilot. Apparently there is a vessel all the way over here that uh, two of our Loritanas are engaging right now. We will watch this fight. Loritanas, please, uh, you know, do the thing that you do and charge at them. <laughs> 
Just that single shot. Just douche, 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 douche. Ooh, he's trying to out. He's he's trying to outplay you, Loritana. He's trying to face skimmer and outplay you. I think you're gonna win anyway, though. Looks like you're gonna win anyway. Yeah, it does. You got this. You got this. It's all right. Here with the fighters, no problem. There it goes. There it goes. It's overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. And kaboom. Kaboom. Lovely. Stunning. Gorgeous. Delicious. Incredible. Go ahead and pick through that wreckage. We got a gamma core. It's a star. Unfortunately, it seems we, it's, I feel like we're getting very unlucky. I feel like we're getting very unlucky. Um... All right, um, I was hoping we'd get to that gate. I was hoping we'd get to that gate. Uh, but unfortunately, we do have one more fight ahead of us. I think we can do it. I'm pretty sure we're okay. Pretty sure we're okay here. So we're going to go ahead and engage. 78%. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I don't want to risk losing the gemmers. So I'll keep the gemmers behind until I know I need them. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to send everything else in. We'll go ahead and control this point. Control this point. Caution Ordo again. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but I'm sure the comments will be telling me all about what Caution Ordo means uh, as soon as you guys see this episode. I'm sure of it. I am almost certain that, uh, that I'm going to be seeing a whole load of Caution Ordo uh, information in the comments. One of the best things about learning a game via Let's Plays is all the YouTube commenters letting you know everything you've done wrong, uh, everything you've done right, uh, everything they found funny, and most importantly, everything that you don't know, they'll let you know that you don't know it and tell you what you need to know. <laughs> okay, we've got three ships coming down the right-hand side. Looks like it's a, it's a predominantly right-hand um, right attack here. Let's go ahead and maneuver for it. Oh uh, no, we've got we've got we've got ships coming in up, up, up top. We've got ships coming in up top. No worries. We'll, we'll come in. We'll protect the left flank. One of the Loritanas is taking a real beating. One of the Loritanas is taking a real beating. Now I don't want to get too close to all of this. I may be in a battleship, but I get too close to all of this and I just still die. Um Looks like they're trying to kind of get behind get around us. Looks like they're trying to kind of get around us here. One of our Loritanas was disabled. Okay. Let's push in here. Let's push in here. Let's do some damage if we can. Do some damage. Yes, that's it. Big damage, big damage, big damage, big damage. Keep it up. Got it. Nice. Lovely. Lovely. Pull away from the fight here. Pull away from the fight. Kane Hurst is moving in. Let's go and support him. Okay, core overclock. Let's make let's make time, make time, make time. Go, 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 go. Full ahead, full ahead. Let's go. Oh, it's just getting away. It's just out of our reach. Come on. Core overclock ready. Let's go. Close in on it. That's it. Launch fire. Let's go. Huge damage. Huge damage. And come on, we got this. Yeah, beautiful. There goes the brilliant. Right, you've got that vessel. You've got that vessel. Let's find. We're gonna head down here. Head down here. Let's go. Let's go. Loritana, be careful. Be 
be careful. Another one of our Loratanas was disabled. Core overclock. Let's push. Let's push. Oh, Loratana, you're in some trouble. You are in some trouble. I'm going to try and body block for you here. There we go. Yeah, I think we saved the Loratana there just a little bit. Oh, we overloaded. Oh, I thought we were going to overload it. We overloaded ourselves. That's unfortunate, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Alright, now, now you're in trouble. Now you're in trouble. Now you're in trouble. Come here. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. That's 180. Let's 180. Let's vent while we have a bit of breathing room. We've lost a bunch of Loratanas here, unfortunately. But I think we've still got this vi we've, we've still got this battle. Uh I think we've won. I'm pretty sure we've won this. No problem. Um we'll have to recover the Loratanas and then just hit the gate as quick as possible. to recover the Loratanas and hit the gate as quick as possible. Core overclock. Let's chase. Chase, chase, chase. Big hits. Oh, the face skimmer out, though. Face skimmer out. We've got, we got left flank. Shields up. That's it, Loratana. Beautiful support there. Beautiful support. Core overclock. Let's chase. That's not happening. That's not happening. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. We got one more glare here by the looks of things. That is in a very rough space. We'll drop our shields there for the plus 50 top speed. Um, Kanehurst, can you take that out? I'm sure you can, right? Yeah, there we go. Missiles coming in. Boom. Beautiful. Unfortunately, we lost another Loratana there. It's very unfortunate. Um, looks like we're still dealing with... Oh, we're actually still dealing with a significant force over here. Still dealing with a significant force on the left. I'm surprised. I am I am surprised. Oh, the Lazarus. The Lazarus is taking some hits. Is the Lazarus going to go down? Oh, please don't go down, Lazarus. You got, you got the Kanehursts coming. Oh, Lazarus. Lazarus is being pummeled right now. And that's not supposed to be some kind of pun because we have the pummel fighter. Oh, Lazarus, get out of there. Get out of there. Shields up. Oh, shields up. Core overclock, we're coming in. No, Lazarus. Lazarus, stay safe. Stay safe. We're coming into body block. We're coming into body block and support. No! Oh! We almost got in in time. We almost got in in time. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Still. We're going to win this battle and we're going to get out. Hopefully with some AI cores. Fingers crossed with some AI cores. Okay. There we go. There we go. AI autopilot engaged. Whew. Wow, that was... Uh, that was a tough battle. That was a fun one, that was. That was a fun battle. A tough and fun battle. You got this, Loretana.
You got this. You got this. That's it. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Oh, another one of my Loratanas was disabled? Really? Nightmare. We've lost all but one of our Loratanas? Yikes, this is gonna be this is gonna be an expensive recovery. This is gonna be an expensive recovery, that's for sure. A very expensive recovery. There we go. The glare goes down. The glare goes down. Yeah. Wow, we lost. We lost all of the Loratanas bar one and the Lazarus. <sighs> Woo. That's expensive. And no AI cores? No, you're kidding me. No AI cores. No AI cores. No AI cores. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm shook. I'm shook. Three fleets. No AI. Well, I've got one gamma AI. We've got one gamma core from three fleets. 900 supplies worth of repairs. <laughs> um, uh, let's go to the colony info here. Uh, let's go to our heavy industry. And let's go ahead and assign a gamma core for the time being. She doesn't really do a whole amount, but we might as well apply it just for now. Just for now. Um, goodness, goodness, goodness me. What a fight to end off the episode, eh? That is going to be the end of the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have liked this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing. And don't forget to check me out on Twitch. The link is in the description below. We play a whole variety of games. I was recently addicted to Dark and Darker. We had a great time on that. We were literally just today when I was recording this, obviously not today when you're watching, uh, we were we were smashing out some, uh, some Bannerlord 2, some Old Realms mod, because uh, I want to learn the Old Realms mod to maybe put a Let's Play up here on the YouTube channel. I want to learn the mod a little bit beforehand. Um, so do come check out the Twitch. Um, it's a great time. Uh, it, it, it's a it's a very great time and uh, it'd be lovely to see you there but otherwise guys stay safe in the stars farewell <laughs>